back and live and everything. E3 is finished. Well, I mean, it's still technically going on, but it's finished for conferences. Hi, everyone. Welcome to James and that guy with me, the James. Let me start the stream by saying a big thank you to Gargantics. Subscribe for eight months, and he says, Gotta have a dark soul to be eight months deep. Damn straight, buddy. Damn straight. Keep fighting the good fight. Thank you so much. Um, it was ironic as well. Our uh, Instagram numbers and Twitter followers just continue to go down now. So that might be a indication of people thinking I suck or they just hate me. I don't care. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh dear. What did we all think of E3 anyway? Should we should we talk about E3? Should we get that on the should we get on that get on that train? Get my messages up here. Welcome to chat. Chat about E3. Uh, my quick summary would be uh, Microsoft had a really good conference. Uh, showed a lot of games coming out. Gave us a bit of insight into uh, the next console, which I thought was pretty cool of them. Um, sounds like it's going to be good. Sounds like it's going to be powerful. Uh, they've already said it's going to have a disk drive. Yes. Um, and that they kind of want it to be... They, they want it to be able to play all Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One games. So, if it's that backwards compatible, count me in. Because I'm a sucker for old things and not new shit. Uh, other than that, uh, the games they showed, let's go for Cyberpunk, obviously. Uh, well done, Mr. Reeves, for that. Um, looks awesome. Looking forward to seeing more gameplay. Uh, over the coming days, I think they're doing gameplay on E3, so maybe we'll get to see some. Um, the Outer Worlds. The new IP um, from Obsidian looks fucking rad can't wait to see more of that because they don't make shit they make lush stuff uh, they were the brains behind Fallout New Vegas which honest to god I don't have anything bad to say about so looking forward to that looks really cool uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps there's not a more beautiful game than Ori in the Blind Forest but they may succeed in making a more beautiful game with the sequel Ori is just the fucking most gorgeous game ever made. I don't care what anyone says. You're wrong if you disagree. Um, Gears 5, uh, funnily enough, was their lamest viewing. I think they just showed like a trailer for it. And then a new game mode, Escape, which I was like, I don't care about this. I want to see real shit. Um, so the presentation for it sucked, but I'm still excited for Gears 5. That's obviously, hopefully, hopefully going to be as good as the others and they won't fuck it up uh, Halo obviously saw very little of but exciting because it's Halo Halo's usually good um, Elden Ring let's talk about Elden Ring the new IP from From Software uh, directing directed by Hideka, Hideataka Makazaki I knew I wouldn't say it right Hideo Taka Miyazaki. And George R. R. Martin. It's a corroboration. Or collaboration. Collaboration? Collaboration. Um, it's basically going to be a Souls game. It's They've already said it's a dark fantasy action RPG. That is what Dark Souls is. I can't fucking wait. That's going to be the best. Just give me a shield, though. Want to use a shield in that? Don't want to... Have to Sekiro my way and Neo my way through shit and Bloodborne either. Want a shield. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I was a big fan of Microsoft Conference. Uh, Ubisoft was surprisingly good. Uh, really like the look of Watch Dogs 3. Um, that was a really well presented reveal. Uh, Ghost Recon um, has actually made me want to go back and play Ghost Recon Wildlands. Because, um, was it Breakpoint? Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I think this one's called? Something like that. Uh, it looks really good. So, looking forward to that. Uh, that's about it for them. Uh, they showed fuck all else. Square Enix, I have no idea what they showed, but I had a quick skim of what they showed, and I was like, nah, don't care. I think it was mainly Final Fantasy shit, and I was like, nah, gone. Uh, Nintendo's earlier. 
really good conference. Uh, they showed more of Zelda Link's Awakening, which looks fucking fantastic. Uh, one of my favourite of all time games. Um, easily my favourite Game Boy game of all, all time. Uh, they fucking suckered us in at the end, didn't they? The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel is in development. And my guess, from what they showed us, is that it looks like they just found the uh, corpsey remains of uh, old Ganondorf down there. In that tomb thing, in that cavern. And it uh, looks like they've uh, awakened the soul. And the big rumble of Hyrule Castle as it fades and pans out. Uh, my guess is maybe they're going to be all like, Dark World! It's going to be Legends of Breath of the Wild in the Dark World! One can hope. Also, let's please God, Nintendo, if anyone from Nintendo watches this, put a fishing rod in there. Let us fish. Link's Awakening, you can fish. It even showed that, but fucking just, come on. Uh, anyway, Luigi's Mansion 3 looked really good. Can't wait to see more of that. Uh, they've added a lot of content to it, so it looks like a massive, like, you know, just more of it. And uh, there's online co-op and everything. That looks lush. Um... I was a bit gutted that they showed Banjo-Kazooie only as a character in Super Smash Bros. small part of me just really wanted them to make a new Banjo game, even though I'm pretty sure Xbox can only do that. Either way, I don't care. I want a new Banjo game from someone. Um, but yeah, they showed a lot of cool stuff. Animal Crossing obviously looks good. Um, they showed Astral Chain. Looks fun. Um, collection of Mana. Coming to Switch is just lush can't wait to play Secret of Mana for the first time and then uh, the sequel that only came out in Japan is now coming out that looks lush um, oh my god The Witcher 3 is coming out on Nintendo Switch I genuinely was shocked by that one like in a good way I've already got it on PC I've never played it I couldn't get hyped to play it and now it's kind of passed me by but now that it's on the Switch I somehow have motivation for and of course, Doom Eternal and the Wolfensteins. Wolfenstein Young Blood's coming out. And I fucking dig that. So, yeah, loads of cool shit from Nintendo. Fair play. Uh, let's go for things that I wanted but didn't get, though. Dark Souls 2 on Switch. Didn't show that. Metroid Prime Trilogy on Switch. Didn't show that. They didn't uh, give any updates on their online service, i.e., adding things, improving things. Didn't show any of that. Uh, no Banjo Kazooie game, obviously. No F Zero. I really want an F Zero game, and I still really want them to remake Donkey Kong sixty four, even though it was made by Rare. I just want them to somehow go fuck it. Let's just remake it anyway. Fuck the legal costs. It'll be worth it. Um. But yeah, all in all, it was actually uh, I, I enjoyed E three this year uh, much more than last year. They just they showed a lot of games that I would be very excited to play. And now we're playing Dark Souls. So, get ready. I'm just going to untangle my controller here. What is that stuck on? Oh well. I don't care. Give me the Dark Souls. I've already talked about E3. If anyone wants to sound off on their E3 thoughts, uh, please do. Let's uh, let's open a debate. Uh, I might even put something in the chat. I'm not going to bother. I'm already at Anor Londo. Hmm. Go ahead, even. Go ahead. Rest. If you yeah. Uh, right, I am doing extra things. I think I've got all the Lord Souls now. I can essentially finish the game if I want to, but Lord Soul, Nito, Chaos, Four Kings, and Seath. Yes, we're good. Whee! Let's go dicking around for all the stuff that I've missed. There's a couple extra bosses knocking around, and I really do want to try and access the DLC. So I need to quickly remember how to do that. I think I remember. I think I have to go back to where I fought the Hydra. And I think there's like a crystal golem there that I have to fight or something. Whee! <clears throat> I could be wrong. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure, yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
with running down the stairs, with running through the quail, jumping over hither. Yeesh. So, Dark Souls, are you going to be nice today, or are you going to be a little bitch like you are the whole time? I'm not afraid anymore. Uh, I'm having... Oh, shit. I'm going to have to equip the ring quickly. Uh, I think it's this one. Equip a certain ring and a certain thing opens up and you get to have a f bit of fun with it. Let's try this. can't remember if it's here or further down now. It's here. Open, you bitch. Open, you selfish bitch. Right, I'm going to try and move this platform then. Oh, is anyone else feeling dizzy? I'm feeling dizzy. It's gone. The dizziness has passed. Let's see what happens if we push it this way. I want it to go down. That's the one. Wow, already took damage for that. Are we, are we happy with that? Or Let me go. Let my people go. Hey, a bonfire. And a big picture of Gwyn. Oh, it disappeared. The ring of the sun's firstborn. More on that later. And by later, I mean right now. Um, let me... Seance. No. Oh, here we go. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Should we read this? Lord Gwyn's Firstborn, who inherited the sunlight, once wore this ancient ring, boosts the strength of miracles. Lord Gwyn's Firstborn was a god of war, but his foolishness led to a loss of the annals and rescinding of his deific status. Today, even his name is not known. So, yeah. Let's talk about that. Either way. What's this? A fog gate? Halt. This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the dark sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. I'm going to kneel for you, Gwyndolin. Oh. Thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shall protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the dark moon. Sounds great. What if I say no? Let's say yes. <clears throat> Fuck it. We might get free stuff. Yes. Very well. Now thou art a blade of the dark moon. Hunteth the enemies of the lords by the power of the dark sun. Okay. Okay. That's cool. In a in a way. The rest at the bonfire. Chamber of the Princess. Let's warp there. I'm going to do something naughty. I've been extremely naughty this year. Oh, I'm going to take that fucking ring off now. Where's my ring? Where's Havel's ring? Yeah, there we go. Now I can fucking hippity hop all I want. Hello. Hello, large woman. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna grab a throwing knife here and execute you. Whoops. Thou that tarnisheth the godmother's image, I am Gwyndolin. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Okay. 
Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londo. I mean, you say that. So... Guinevere, who was sat there, uh, was an illusion. Not real. Was not really her. Think about that. Um, essentially, the theory is that... And the sun's gone, note that. The theory is that um, Lord Gwyn and his family, or namely Gwyndolin, the only remaining deity in Anolondo, had created the illusion that the sun was still there and that Guinevere was still there because they feared so much that they might be overthrown and... Oh, shit. Does one! Stab on the other. Down you go, sir. So yeah, to sort of stop humanity from spreading and I guess spreading hope to humanity as well. And to sort of cast the illusion that they still are the dominant force in this land. They created the illusion of the sun. Obviously long gone now. And look, this is Anna Londo's true visage. And this is the Firekeeper, who we will now destroy. So it was you. But how? I don't know, it took me three hits. I thought you'd be harder than that. Master Gwendolyn! Firekeeper soul! The only problem with that is that I'm pretty sure we've killed all the fire keepers now, so we can't actually... <laughs> we can't actually do anything about that. But we can pull this lever. Then there was one in Animal Lundo. Thy transgression will not go unpunished. Oh, put it in my mouth. For I am Gwendolyn, and I am hungry for cock. Going down. Let's go this way now. Let's go and see Gwendolyn, shall we? Let's see what all that fuss is about. I am intrigued. I don't think he's going to be too happy. I just killed his mas his master bodyguard and like I guess mum. Although he says godmother. Either way, let's say hello. Heretic. First thou offendest the godmother. Yes. And now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the great lord. I am the dark sun, Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence. Sounds good. There he is. Look at the endless hallway. Right, he's gonna do magic at us. Oh, wow. Wow, that didn't last long. I get a redo on that. That didn't pan out the way I thought it was gonna. Why? Why has it put me at this bonfire? Why hasn't it put me at the other one? I rested at all of them. Maybe if I try and hone the bone. It's 
Bullshit. It definitely rested at the, um... Well, any other one. This is the one I didn't rest at. I call bullshit game. You're just trying to make me do the run around and I've got to wait for your fucking lift. Good luck. Hun, 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 hun. Alrighty. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Now I'm going to have to go the really long, shitty way to going back there. Because that's now gone. I definitely can't make that jump. I'm pretty sure I've tried before. Shit. Oh, fuck this. What sucks is I know I rested at that bonfire. I know I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I fucked up and didn't. Someone's got a replay somewhere. Go tell me. How much did I fuck up by? You stop it. Alright, let's make quick work of this before we die horribly. Along the rafters. This bit does suck. Does one. Does one safely. Now, as long as the camera doesn't move about too much, we should be alright. He's just committed suicide down that hole. I'm happy with that. Whee! Still don't think we can jump down there. Let's kill the lift. Yeesh. Apart from anything else, that sequence just went really smoothly. We can take happiness in that. That could have easily been the loss of all my souls. For which I think I had a fair few. Yeah. I was going to say, he still didn't come up to where I wanted. There it is. Thanks, game! Right, now let's push this shit. Let us go down. Let's go down again. Oh, Chosen Undead. Oh, Disciple of the Dark Sun. They like saying, oh, before they give you something. No. Right, right I'm going to rest at this fucking bonfire. You're about to see me rest at this bonfire. That's proof that I rested at this bonfire. Rest at bonfire. Repair all my shit. Apparently it's always it's already done. It's fine. Fuck it. Let's get on with it. Should probably use a better shield. But I'm not watching that again. Right, watch out for my souls. There they are. Got him. He's doing something. Kill him! That selfish bitch. Did shitloads of damage on him, to be fair. Whoa. Gonna heal. Don't need this in my life. 
And he's finished. Suck it, Gwendolyn. Poor heretic, swathed in dark. An eternal curse upon thee. Yes. I don't blame him. Soul of Gwendolyn, victory achieved. And a tasty achievement. Followed by a certain amount of souls I might gather. There we go, 40,000. That's enough to level up. Look at the giant tomb of Gwyn. First of his name. Let's take whatever's in this dirty chest. Look, there's flowers atop it. Miracle! Sunlight blade! A chair for Gwendolyn. Great. Well done, Gwendolyn. Nothing in that chest. Load of shit. There's a big tomb in it. That's the sort of tomb I want to be buried in, just for no reason. Other than if I do ever wake up, I've got some space, you know. The brass set! Let's have a look at the brass set. Got a lot of armor now. Still want to be able to wear the, that, even though it's worse now. Because I've heavily done up the embraced armor. Where is it? There it is. Oh yeah, it's lighter. I'm not gonna wear it. I've decided against that. But yeah, the seemingly endless hallway is always uh, a fun one. Depending on how that fight goes, that fight can be infinitesimally difficult. If you don't have enough stamina, essentially he just keeps teleporting backwards. So you can never reach him and he just fucks you with magic eventually. It's like all about having just stamina to run through it. Anyway, I digress. Uh, oh, look, we've got some humanity to go with. That's cool. Firekeeper Soul. Soul of Gwendolyn now. Let's level up. Wow, it really wants a lot of souls to level, doesn't it? Might as well go for that one. Get some additional damage in there. Um, can't reinforce anything yet. I'm still kind of going for achievements at this point. Um, new game plus will be fun. So I've kind of screwed the pooch on the leveling, but fuck it. Titanite chunk. I've got one Titanite chunk. I need one more Titanite chunk. I want to upgrade that crystal halberd so much. Can I reinforce my armor? Oh, I totally can. Yes. Get it on. I only need three Twinkling Titanites for the leggings of favor five. And then they'll see. Then they'll all see. Pretty sure if you use a Firekeeper soul, you get 20,000 souls. So I'm not going to bother with that. But, uh, no, I don't want to warp, actually. This is about where I want to be for the next run. I've got about as much health as you kind of need. Anything past this, like anything that is going to kill me in one hit, will pretty much kill me in one hit anyway, regardless of how much higher than my health bar is. So I'm happy with that. But we do want to go here. This is right. We We haven't been here yet. The floor. You stop it. Drop stuff. Throwing knife! Now, there's a big old painting at the end of that hallway. And you'll all see why I'm so fixated with it in a second. Damn it, I was really trying to backstab him. Oh well. Yeah. Throwing knives, alright. These guys, are, I don't know why they're... They're painting guardians. There's a reason they're there. Good sorcery if you're a magic user. They do like to flip, flop and dance about quite a bit. And that's okay. Eventually they die. Especially if you fucking jab at them like that. 
make sure I'm not missing anything. Dancer13, how are you doing, mate? KT, if you're there, hope you're well. Hope you both had a bitch in E3. Hope you enjoyed it. I know you've been watching intently. Black Iron Set and the Great Sword and Black Iron Great Shield. So, if you remember, there was a Black Iron Tarkus character. His name was Black Iron Tarkus. Uh, back in Sense Fortress, you can summon him to help with the Iron Golem boss fight. Uh, he's a legend. He's known for literally being the toughest fucker in this um, in this world. He's got stamina of like a hundred and something, and is he hits like a fucking hammer. Um, but unfortunately, because he was so heavy and weighty with his armor set and massive great shield and sword, in this area, when he tried to climb the rafters like we did all the way up there, he unfortunately fell to his death. And that's as far as he got. Right, big painting. Let's go inside. I hate that it fucking hangs over forward like that, though. Look. I fucking hate that. Get it against the wall. They twist. We're in. We're in the painting. Oh my god! The painted world of Arianus. Well. Isn't that fucked up? So here we are. Oh, and unfortunately, um, Nintendo didn't announce Dark Souls 2 on Switch, so our lives are over. Just wanted everyone to know. Yay! Thank God there's a bonfire. Yar! Fire! Alright, let's do some painted world shit. This bit's a bit of a bastard. Everything hits really fucking hard. Jeez, I'm already down a half a quart. I'm gonna go in heal and try that again. That was fucking horrible. Yeah, this will be an area that is good if you've got a lot of health. Shit. My turn, sir. Yes. Yeah, a lot of souls for them, considering they're just regular hollows. They're ready. Up we go. I love that this place is like twilight. I love that. Stop it. Whoa. I just got an additional. Estus, I think that means that someone just used a humanity on the bonfire near me. Alright, not to run away. What the shit. And I'm instantly toxic. Oh, damn it. Can I eliminate toxicity? Let's have a quick flick. The toxicity of a city of a city. It's that one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of being toxic in this area. A lot more where that came from. How do I make it over there? Over there is where I want to be. Frodo Baggins is my name. Keeping rings is my game. Oh shit. I'll let him punch himself out. There we go. Crap. Die, Bird Hillbilly. Soul of a proud thing. Right, 
there was an additional glowy thing. There it is. I got it. I got it! Between humanities! What the fuck? There's a flying bird man. Two flying bird men. Ew. Well, I'm glad we survived. <clears throat> um, I think I want to go... What is that? A crow on there? Oh my god, look, there's a crow. There's actual birds. I don't think I've ever seen that in Dark Souls. Are they actual... Just birds? Why have I never noticed that before? Sounds evil down here. Oh, yeah. Albino evil rats. For some reason they're terrified of me. Soul of a brave warrior. Humanity. Once again alluding to the fact that Miyazaki considers human... Human... Humanity vermin. We are. We are like vermin. Wax this clown. I kind of missed, but they gave it to me. I will take these kills. Why? Why must you come this way? I want to kill these guys before I take off the uh, toxicity. There we go. Right, now I don't feel so bad, and I haven't wasted anything. I'll catch you free, sir. What the fuck is that down there? Oh, for fuck's sake, why? So basically, if you kill them in melee, they toxify you. I was almost convinced I'd killed them. How wrong I was. How wrong I was. Goodbye, death. Dead thing. There are dead things. Dead faces in the water. Either way, we'll carry on. Hi. My turn. Ah, stabby, stabby. Why do it? Why do it, hollow, horrible thing? Broken straight thing. Alright, that's a tough jump, but I think we're up to the challenge here. Nailed it. Soul of a brave warrior. I made that jump exactly at the same time as that phantom. Did you see that? How cool is that? There's people helping people. That's powerful stuff. Egg Vermifuge. All right. All right, all right, all right. Always love this area. It's just a completely optional area. This whole bit is just... You could go straight past it and never realise. Oh, good. Why did it have to be rats? Why are they running away? Sometimes they run away, sometimes they fight you. I, I think if you're human, they fight you, and if you're hollow, they run like fuck. I think that's the, uh, the difference. Painting stuff. Hi, buddy. I don't know where you came from, but I love ya. Alright. Got the painting set. I can still hear growling. I don't know what the growling is, but... We can now hear, like, fireworks or something. Pretty sure that's from the game. Oh. Well. Oh, I knew I was going to take damage for that as well. That sucks. Um, where do we go now? This way, maybe. Could go that way. 
could try this way. I don't really know. I'm hearing some flying. It could be more of those bird guys. It's the bird people! Oh yeah, and I forget, they're well odd. Lots of souls for them though. Look, there's one. Fuck me, this is high. I sure don't want to fall off this. Red sign soapstone. Holy balls, we're high. We're the highest part of a game, in fact. Oh god, what's that? That's another undead dragon thing, isn't it? That's all it is. Right, I'm going to try and land on this guy's face. Totally worked. Yes. Soul of a brave warrior. Survive! Yes! Right, now this is where it gets tricky, because there's a million places you can drop off and get additional items. That might be one of them there. In that hole. Maybe. Doesn't look like it leads anywhere good, though. Could have a look. Let me! Let me in the hole! Damn it. Wow. What a hole. Name that game. And by game, I do mean film. I fucked up. Very, very sorry. Oh shit. The fucking floor just gave out, man. My bird thing. I'm so glad your attack missed, because you hit hard. I know that much. That is definitely an undead dragon. I can't wait to bow and arrow the shit out of him. Because fuck am I fighting a dragon. I ain't dumb. Found the route. Okay. You want to be a dare can be all closed and shit. You go right the fuck ahead. I'm going through here then. Fuck it. Ah. Okay, that's a weird. It's a weird phalanx type of thing. They're performing testudo. The Great Greek Phalanx. Oh god, they're all awake. Okay, cool. Just checking. Let's kill them all very, very quickly. And then run away when it all goes to shit. Oh good, they're following me. That's fun. Ow, don't throw things. Jesus. Decent amount of souls for these guys. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Don't let them overwhelm you and it's not as bad as it sounds. Nothing there. Possibly stuff here. I just want to see. I think there's a shortcut here. Hold on. I don't really want to have to do what we've just done again. Arr, arr. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. Okay. Hidden well. Well, well, well. Look at what we got here. Open the door. And lo. The shortcut. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Right there. Right, now we've got a myriad of options. God, I hate the flame wielding hollows. I really do. Stop it, sir. I said, stop it, sir. 
Pretty sure I've just seen one jump to his death, so good on him. I'm going to take all these things. Why does it sound so evil here? Pretty sure if we're human and come here, we have to fight a uh, hollow NPC invasion thing. I'm not really fussed by it, to be honest. I'm happy letting it go. Right, now we have options. First things first. Get as many goddamn items as we can. Soul of a proud knight. Oh, right. Hey! There's an item down there now. Check yourself for looking at things. Where does this lead? Into a shithole. Uh, I believe I want to come back to that. Let's do the really, really hard bits first. Of this broken little chapel ministry thing. God damn it, why is that locked? Has that always been locked? Maybe it's something to do with this statue. Can I do something with that, please? No? Alright, is there anything in these boxes that we forgot? No. Okay. Down the shithole we go. We. This is where it could go very, very badly for us. Because of these things. Christ, they die in one hit, but I can't see a fucking thing. There's one. One at a time, one at a time, it's okay. Just don't gang up on me like you fuckers like to do. I said don't gang up on me. Ow, 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 ow. That'll be why. Bastards. They will kill you very quickly. There's another one in the light. I like the way the moon is. He fucking turned mid spin. Come on now. Wheels don't turn. That's what steering wheels do, damn it. That's how life works, isn't it? Soul of a brave warrior. That looks fake. Oh, she f turns? Yeah, there you go. Yay! Oh, she looks upset. Well, I've opened something. I hope you're all happy. The secret's unlocked. I'm gonna heal. I don't trust this area. No small part. There's still a bunch of these guys. Right, this should leave. Oh, I thought this led to the wishing well. Hey, buddy. I just. Why aren't you attacking me? I was going to try and talk to you. I thought you were talkable. Clearly not. Oh. Well, I'm taking your pyromancy. Oh, that's what you're there for. You were too scared to even use it, weren't you, sir? I'm going back down into the pit. There are secrets. Look, there's one. Shields up. Right, there's a 
spinny, spinny, spinny dude. I love that they do a bit of a run up before they start spinning. It's kind of like when a surfer runs into the water with a surfboard. They kind of like, whoa, surf's up, dude. All right. Yes, I got the annex key. That's what I was looking for. I knew it was here somewhere. Oh, I'm lost in a fucking cave. Right, let's go this way. Stop it. Yeah. Fuck hole. I said fuck hole. I don't know what it means either, I'm sorry. Done messed up. Alright, I've done the cavern of death and our way out. Yes, good. Look at that Heidi. Breathtaking Heidi. Oh, I also haven't done this bit yet. What's this do? What does this button do? The ring of sacrifice. I'll take it. And then jump off here. Back. That's how I roll in life. Let's all remember I can level up, so whatever I do in terms of dying, completely on me. I can only blame myself for this one. I've even got a bonfire right there, and I've decided to do this. Right, we are going to get fireball or some shit by this guy. Might as well kill him. I'm eventually going to run out of that toxic health thing. So I hope... Oh god, there's like a bunch of them. Let's just fucking do this bit quickly then. Ah. Oh. Tears. Dark Ember! Die, bird things! Evil little bastard things you are. The Dark Ember. I can now make a cult weapons. I mean, it looks like an illusionary wall. I don't think it is, though. It was at one point. There's no way that wasn't. It looks so fake. Shit. Alright, we're not doing badly. Uh, where to next? Can we go up any further? 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 Yes, we can. Oh, God. I survived the toxic. First time ever. James survives toxicity. 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 Right, I'm just going to grab this. Knowing full well that there's a bunch of birds, I think, flying in. Well, have I killed them all? I don't know anymore. Usually loads of bird men run at you when you do that. I don't care. I finally got this thing. Oh my god, it's the mask. It's Velka's stuff. And look, a hidden thing here. Soul of a brave warrior. Everything's coming up. Thrill house. I do need to get that now, though. How do I... How do I get to there? I'm trying to work it out. I can't really see it yet. Maybe this is a completely new way. I can still hear things down here somewhere. Maybe there's a secret wall? Light? There is a light on the floor there. Look, a glowy light for no reason. And I can hear things behind it. I don't know how you get to it. I can hear so many things so pissed off with me right now. If anyone sees a passage or an opening that I'm missing, please do let me know. You are allowed. I give my full... Why do you take damage there, but not the other one? Like, what's the diff? I reckon I can not make that jump. 
Now I'm looking at it, and that's dumb. But also, how much do you want to try it? I don't. I'm good. I'm good having never known. But there is something else here that I can't get to, and it's pissing me off something fierce. Right. The good news is we're opening avenues. That looks kind of fake. Damn it, that was also fake once. I bet you. Maybe they were put here to make us think they were. At least this is open now. Out, 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 out. Woof, woof, woof. Right, I think we want to go back through here. I'm running out of stamina, damn it, and I've got 50,000 souls to lose. Aha! That's all I had to do. That is all I had to do. Valka's rapier. Here we go, I found the growling rats. Which now might totally kill me. I'm going to try and land on this one. Go away, ratties. I'm so happy I've eliminated everything in this level, apart from that big old dragon shit. Oh, yeah. There's another one. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Drop humanity. That's what you do. Shit. Alright, bollocks to you then. Oh god, there's another rat. Oh, and a hidden thing. Need that. Gold coin! Build up the momentum, run up the ladder. Where the f fuck? Oh, it was here. It was here the whole time. Look, all I had to do was look up and I'd have seen it. Well, luckily I made it through. With a bit of stumble. We found the path. Now, can we eliminate this fucking dragon? Keeping in mind that I'm about to lose... Oh no, it didn't take damage that time. Go James, learning! Alright. I am in need of a bow and arrow. Your best arrow. Do I have any arrows? Oh, thank god I have loads. I've got one Dragon Slayer Grey Arrow. I do not trust myself with. Well, it's moved. I'm going to start shooting. It's a lot faster than I thought. Not going to lie. Holy shit. Hello, dragon. Ah, oh, that's better. Alright, it won't take too long. I'm pretty sure there's another one at the end as well. Trust me, if I try and melee it, it's just going to win badly for all of us. So I'll shoot it in its eye. It seems to be enjoying it. Yeah, he just unleashes a torrent of poison and toxic if you uh, engage in melee combat. They also regenerate if you leave them. If you if you stop doing damage to them, they do eventually regenerate by themselves without you respawning or dying or anything. It sucks. It's okay, we've got a good thing here going.
Come on, dragon. I'm sure you're very cool, but I don't have time for your bullshit. So this is now happening. This is how you kill dragons. Go watch The Hobbit. Or read The Hobbit. This is totally how it happens. Last one. Let's shoot him right in his wing. Five thousand pitiful souls for that. Can you believe it? Where's my sword? Grab your sword and fight the lord. Well, I've solved a proud knight. Dragon scale! That's pretty cool. Blood shield. I don't know what this is. I think this is like dragon legs. Could have actually been the dragon's legs that we killed, actually. Don't know if I'm damaging it or not. Let's try a few more. I'm not seeing a health bar. You can't really go any further. I'll just assume... That was in the original Dark Souls as well. It's such a weird kind of glitchy thing. I'm pretty sure it's just the dead dragon's legs that we killed just, like, sat there. So, of course, you get nothing for that. Nothing! Right, before we go through that way, I'm going to rest and level up. 58,000 souls is more. Wow, look at this guy just hanging out by the wall. Hey man, wasted. Also, Dazzler, I don't know what you're doing Friday night, but uh, you want to go for some drinks Friday night? Huh? Yeah? Yeah, he does. Oh yeah. 100%. I do need to uh, repair my things. Before we go out, I must repair! Let's get that 50 dexterity going. Maybe it starts going up again. Now that I'm at 50 dex. Maybe it just fucking goes up. I don't think I can level up again. This might be a dumb move. Mm, let's try it. Not even close. Not even close, but I've got loads more. Actually, that might be enough. Oh my god, it totally is. The dexterity is going up more, yes! But why do that when I can put shitloads of endurance on? Although my stamina is no longer moving, it is just for equip load. Mm, I don't know. Could go for some more health. Nah, fuck it. Let's go for more attack. I want to hit like a fucking hammer. Ironically, using my Uchi Katana. Alright, let's see how good our running around is. Bum 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 it's fucking terrifying. The crows are alive. I'm being... I'm being speared. I don't have time for your spears! Oh, that phalanx, by the way, that all those things over there, are probably the best way to farm souls in Dark Souls. You get a thousand... I think you're pretty sure you get a thousand for each one. And you can wear soul-boosting things to get a shitload more. Stop it, all of you. Stop it. Oh, crap. Go about you guys. I'll kill three of you at once, and then your last remaining friend. Ha! Huh. Oh, Christ. Hello, big knight. That's a big sword. Holy shit. Alright. You mean the business, don't you? Can I backstab you? Doesn't seem likely. 
I love the sound against his clunk. Yeah, I'm fucking healing. I don't fucking think so. Take care. Give me a large titan at yard. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Throw me up here. This is cool. She's got dragon-esque eyes, and if you'll note, she has a tail. This is crossbreed Priscilla. She is some kind of abandoned daughter of Gwyn, who it looks as though must have like had sex with a dragon, or it could have been some kind of experiment with Seath, or maybe Gwyn made love to Seath, and that's created Crossbreed. Either way, she's the abandoned daughter of Gwyn, and she's part dragon. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. What? Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful. Its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. She's very nice. Thou must return this land. I... I'm going to chop her tail off. Wrong button. I expect it as much from thee. Why dost thou hurry toward thy death? Crap. I forgot she turns invisible. Look out for footsteps. There's one. Die, you evil bitch. But I want your tail. Yes! What seeketh thee to do such shit? I don't care, Priscilla. Priscilla's dagger. You have no idea how difficult that is to get. Also, there's totally an item over here that I totally missed. I don't know why. Getting it. Yeah, that can be a bitch of a fight. She uses um, a life hunt scythe. That it bleeds you out in one hit so basically if you get hit from her um, it takes basically all your health off in one go because of um, her bleed damage but her dagger is fucking lash it's basically a short sword let's uh, let's see if we can find it I'll find it in, in here <clears throat> It's really hard to get as well, because obviously she's invisible, and she's quite weak. So, usually you kill her before you can get the, uh, the dagger. So that's a great little steal. There it is. 500 bleed damage. It does additional dark damage, and it grades A with uh, dexterity. This sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, came from the tale of Priscilla, the dragon crossbreed in the painted world of Ariamis. Possessing the power of life hunt, it dances about when wielded in a fashion reminiscent of the white robed painted guardians. Uh, uh, it looks fucking awesome. Look at that. Yeah, it's a cool dagger. I'm a fan. I'll go back to my Gitano until I, in the event I might be able to level that bad boy up. Because we can't do it just yet. But that was the Painted World. So the story of the Painted World is it was kind of made, I think it was made by Lord Gwyn as a type of prison for anything that doesn't belong in the real world. So Crossbeed Priscilla being a prime example, she was a abomination by all rights um, and maybe done out of some kind of 
you know, unholy union between Gwyn and a dragon or Seath. It could be an experiment of Seath's. Using, you know, an embryo or the sperm of Gwyn, something like that. But all the things in that world don't belong. So that's why you find the Dark Amber as well, because that makes occult weapons. Um, a cult is linked to humanity, and Gwyn feared humanity, so he locked away the Dark Ember forever. Uh, the Corvians, uh, the bird people, obviously also abominations, who worship the goddess of sin, I believe, locked up. Velka, we found Velka's stuff in there. So it's all related. Um, right, we need to escape. We don't want to use a homeward bone, because then we'll go straight back to the fucking painted world, and we can't warp out of there. Silence! Run, man! Just keep running! Should be a bonfire down here we can level at, though. You also get hardly any souls for crossbeat, Priscilla. 37,000. So I couldn't have gotten that many. There's a bonfire. Oh, I somehow got humanity from somewhere. I don't know where you came from, you pesky little humanity. Who's a naughty humanity? Yes, you do. Either way. I'm going to use all these three. Come on! Damn it. I need like 1,000 more things. Right, what other secrets are there that I have yet to do? Ah, oh, there's one down here. Uh, I think this is the right one. Mental secret down here, if I can find it. There's going to be a lot of death happening, I think, in my quest to find this one. And that's just fine. Love that his body flails about as you get there. Whee! Nope, I don't want to use you. You're entirely the wrong way. That's fine. One more time, back to Blight Town. What's funny about Blight Town is that when the game first came out, it was notoriously shite. But not because it was Blight Town, it was because the original game suffered frame rate issues, and in Blight Town it suffered its frame rate issues the most. So frame rate frames per second would drop down to like ten. Sometimes five. Um, in certain areas of Blight Town. So not only is it a ridiculously difficult area to navigate and platform and survive in due to all the poison and everything. Uh, it was made eight times more difficult than it should have been due to a shitty frame rate. Luckily, the remastered version suffers no hindrance. So you get to enjoy the glory of Black Town. But we are going to get poisoned. Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna survive like two seconds. All I have to do is make it to the bonfire over here and we're fine. Die, you son of a bitch. Die, you son of a bitch. I'm getting no souls anymore. I used to give loads, now we give none. Rest up. Go. Good, good. Right. What is Priscilla's stuff? Oh, it takes dragon scales and 10,000 souls to fucking level that weapon. Mm, no. Could upgrade another Uchi Katana for fun. I don't think I got a single fucking. I didn't. Not a single Titanite chunk in that whole fucking bit that we just did. That sucks. Anyway, I'm digressing. Stop with the digression. I've been poisoned. Being poisoned is gonna happen. I love how 
hard these things are to hit, and that you get fuck all for them anyway. And they kind of just come out of the swamp, it sucks. I hate everything in life. Die, horrible thing. You can probably level up now. I just want to see if you dropped anything. You didn't? Alright. Absolute bollocks to you. You could home with bone, actually. No, I'm doing it. Plank shield! The worst of all shields! There's a secret here somewhere. There it is. And look, a secret chest. Shit off. Twin humanities. But wait. Who is finding that? Who found this? And how mental is it that they made this whole secret area that you would never otherwise find? Behind two secret walls. Like, it's mental. Mental, I tell you. I got 400 souls for something. Thank you, game. Look, we're inside a great hollow tree. We can level up one last time. I'm leveling the decks up because it's totally going up again now for some reason. So that's cool. And now we're in this shithole. And shithole it is. Like, you can disappear instantly if you want, dude. I don't even know how to get to you. This bit is hell. Down we go. And then we're stuck. Oh no, let's go in this way. I kind of want to make it in there. And I don't mind dying because I haven't really got anything to lose. I need to be slightly above where I am. But how? And why? No. We must be able to jump in. Jump for my love. There's another hidey hole. I now want to get in there too. But fucking how? Some of these places I do look at and I'm like, I know I've never been there. And I know I, I have no idea how you get to them. Oh, okay. So we can jump through this hole. Wow. What a hole. If we can get onto this log above us, we might be able to get over there. Nope, the game doesn't want me to. I've somehow survived that one. I don't know if that was lucky or what. Either way, let's go back up. Yeah, see, a lot of the game is like, no, I don't want you to go that way, though. So how do you? Hmm. Right, everyone figure it out. How? Oh, there's another... We might be able to drop onto that one. Let's try this. Whoa! Did no take into account the lack of anything. Right, we can now jump into that pit. I just don't know if we'll survive it. So let's go this way first. Yeah. How is that? Fuck off. There's got to be a secret somewhere. Find the secret wall. It all looks the fucking same, man. Shit. Did I really just come down here for no reason? If anyone knows where there's a secret here, you are free to tell me. 
I won't even get mad. I won't even get that mad! Like, where do you go from here, though? Looks like I can drop down again. Alright. Evil Nine, how you doing, buddy? Man, I haven't seen you around these parts for God knows how long. But I hope you're doing well. I'm trying to navigate the labyrinth that is the Great Hollow in Dark Souls right now, and I'm already lost and stuck and crying. It's awful. Um, shit. I'm trying to get my way to there, where that crystal, where that those two crystal lizards are. I can't figure it out. I just got to where I. Th sure, you want to go this way? Oh, 100 percent. I'm basically just mopping up secrets at this point. I've done the whole rest of the main game, um, and I'm about maximum level, ish for me anyway. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm going to jump into the hollow and see if I survive that. I don't know if you can roll into it. Can I just roll into that? Well, I could try it on this branch. Destination is down. I just don't want to go down yet. I want to get all the secrets inside it. Starting with this. Shit. Yes! Just! The Chlorothy Ring! Uh, that's nice. All oh, right. Oh, maybe I can just jump that. Totally could. Mm -hmm. All the way to the bottom. Best ring. Uh, the chlorinthy ring is good. It uh, raises your stamina. Let's find the stamina thing. I'm not going to use it, but I'll certainly read it to you. Boost stamina recovery speed. This ancient ring engraved with a large green flowers of unknown origin hastens the regen of stamina. Um, for now, I'm happy with Havel's ring and the ring of favor and protection to boost my equipment load so I can use this armor and fast roll. Plus, I've got a big pool of stamina. I'm good. Nope, you're not gonna, you're not gonna fuck me up with your petrification. Stop it. Nasty, nasty little frog lizard salamander basilisk things. But that still begs the question. How do I get where I want to be? Mm. There's an item I didn't see. Quick! Yes! Large soul of a nameless thing. Alright. Do this. I want to see what this says. I can't take this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is in fact dead end. Ah! Wah! It's just one big thing. That it is. What's, um, IIRC? If I recall, if I remember correctly, I think it's if I remember correctly, I, um, yeah, there are a bunch of items. I'm pretty sure there's a slab as well. There's some form of titanite slab. I think it's like a blue one or a white one or it could be a red one. I don't fucking know. I'm making this up. But I can't get to those crystal lizards. No! Uh-oh. Oh. Look. Pillage the body. Nope, it's too late. This crystalline thing is in fact a real life person who was playing the game and got petrified right there recently. So that's pretty cool. Large soul of a nameless thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, Chlorinthia ring is the only key item. This is remastered, Evil 9. Yes, it is. So it looks 
gorgeous and is awesome and our friend and it can stay fuck these guys these guys will kill you quick shit I fucked it Oh, Christ a fuck. Run! Yeah, that's fine. Let's go through this. There is another thing at the end of a secret. Yes, there is. I, I have done this before. But you'll give it away for everyone else. Look at this fucking bit. The music is haunting to me. Look, a Hydra. Very dragon-esque. Tree. Hey, a Hydra. So this is kind of what the world looked like before the Age of Fire, before Gwyn took over. As you can see, it's mainly formless, but with giant trees and supposed crags everywhere. So half of these are rocks, half are trees. This is basically what the world was before Gwyn and the Age of Fire came to being. And it would seem that it's either hidden from Gwyn, he never knew about this or he simply built his kingdom over it because we are deep, deep, deep underground interesting bit of lore should we have a go on the Hydra then? I don't know why, the Hydra over anything else in this game terrifies me I think it's the nature of how it attacks but let's go get fucked up by it They don't look happy to see us. Hello, Hydra. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Yeah, I really thought you'd go for a melee attack on that one. Now you might. Fuck me. Jesus. I didn't know you got this close. Oh yeah, also you've got a shit ton of health compared to the last one. And you're evil and black looking. Take it! Where is it? Just start slashing! I've taken one of its heads off. Alright. Second head. It's already got no health. Fucker. Come at me, Hydra. I'm inside the Hydra. I'm gonna piss it off. Ah, oh, shit. I think I hit the branch. Let's reposition. No, go for your melee attack. I don't care if your neck is ridiculous. Ow. Ah. It's now just... The three-headed dragon thing from Godzilla. What did that thing called? Oh, it died with heads intact. If you do enough damage to it. Dragon scale! And 10,000 souls, alright. Look at these formless trees. 
I don't know if I if I have a hydro, if you know what I mean. I really uh, got like a nine-headed penis. Dragon scale. Is it telling that we're getting lots of dragon scales in this area? So this is like the last refuge of the dragons, of the everlasting dragons. Cool. The Hydra is defeated. Come on now. Get in the hole. I got too much soul to be put in a hole. Dragon scale. Another one. Get off that beach. There we are. Yay, death clams. My favourite of all the things. I'd love to know what that giant skull is. You're multicoloured. Now you're dead. Thank oh Christ. You're evil and horrible and I hate you. I'm gonna kill the other one now, just in case. Because if I eat you, it won't kill me. My health pool isn't high. Uh, is there a secret hidden item around here? Oh, there's one. Let's get whatever this is and not fall into the water of nothingness. Uh, I did watch E3. Um, you go first. Tell me what your thoughts were. Uh, how you thought the conference was held up. Tell me what games you're excited by. Look, giant skull with fangs. Is that dragon skull? It could be. Not all the dragons look the same. They did all have... They're like humans. All humans look different. Right, we can go down here. I might actually. Go through here. Now, this guy is going to be all pissy with us. Whoa, big damage. I don't know, this year was kind of weak. Lots of cinematics, no gameplay. What's funny about that is that I thought this year's E3 was way better than last year's when they literally, there was nothing last year. I can't remember a single thing from last year. Um, so I actually really enjoyed E3. There must have been some games you're excited for though. Cinematic trailer or not. Come on, give me, give me some things that you liked about it. Whoa. What are you doing here, buddy? Hey, I got an additional... additional thing. And look, I can drop into this hollow. Go up here. and get whatever the fuck this was. It's a great magic barrier miracle thing. Go me. Alright, now I've got to do that whole fucking thing again. That's fine. Cyberpunk is a must buy. <laughs> and the remake. Oh dude, Trials of Manor. I can't believe that's coming out. I can't wait to play that on Switch. Vermin... Vermin Tide 2. Oh, nice. No, I'm looking forward to um, playing that on Switch. That seems like the perfect complement to my wonderful Switch console, which I love. Um, obviously, I think the weakest presentation was Ubisoft's. Um, even though Watch Dogs 3 actually had a really good reveal. That looked like it could be really good. I'll reserve judgment until it comes out, but that looked really fun. Um, and Ghost Recon Breakpoint also looked like it could be good. 
but other than that, Ubisoft showed nothing of interest. So, weak. Uh, Microsoft, I thought, had a really good E3. Yeah, lots of cinematics, but they also showed lots of um, good things, like Ori and the Will of the Wisps looks gorgeous. Elden Ring. The new From Software IP. 100%, yeah. Ubisoft, yeah, they did that with the first Watch Dogs. They made it look amazing, and then when it came out, it looked like shit. Um, but yeah, no, all in all, I think Microsoft and Nintendo had um, good conferences. I think Nintendo probably had the best one. What do we have here? Oh my god. It's an everlasting dragon. Possibly the last everlasting dragon. Evil 9. No backseat gaming. I already knew that, but I'll let you off. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Um, yeah, I'm all aware. You know the rule. You've been here plenty of times. No backseat gaming, but you're let off. Purely because I know that you can do that. But never again. Don't tell me anything else, ever. Um, go buy a Nintendo Switch. I love his fucking face. I'm a prey to the everlasting dragon. I love that he doesn't have any noise either. I'm gonna be a dragon now. And Evil Nine's about to go Amazon and buy a Switch. Dragon headstone and dragon eye. I could offer you a dragon scale, but then I wouldn't have my dragon scales. Let me see if I can zoom in on this guy's face real quick. Look at that. Look at that for a fucking face. That is terrifying. I love that he's got such a small head as well, and it's not that you'd expect from a dragon. But yeah, he's the last. Oh, really? What country you come from? You can Canadian? There's the everlasting dragon's mighty tail. The Dragon Greatsword. I've never killed him before. Maybe you can't. I'm just going to keep going to see what happens. I'm doing a ton of damage. Brazil. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, wow, very expensive there. Evil 9. We said no backseat gaming. I wanted to wail on him for as long as I wanted. I love that he sits cross-legged, though. I didn't know you couldn't kill him. Ugh. You just said you can't kill him. You clearly knew. Come on. What do you need to buy extra for a Switch? You can buy one just out of the box and it works fine. The only thing you might need to buy is an SD card, so... Oh, there you go. I already said it. You don't need a Pro Controller. I've got one, but you don't need one. It's the same as all the others, though. With an Xbox One, you you know, you could buy an Elite controller if you wanted. And both my PlayStation 4 and Xbox One both have external hard drives. So the fact that you need an SD for a Switch is no, is no different. Anyway, that's the Everlasting Dragon. In his last refuge. Uh, I love the fact that he doesn't... Uh, make sound or even acknowledge the fact that you cut off his tail because he's an everlasting dragon so he's beyond the comprehension of pain or anything he doesn't feel pain like a human or a god would so it's, uh, it's a fucking cool concept 
And he is terrifying, so I'm now going to leave. Bye. <laughs> Uh, where do I want to go next? Where do I want to go next? Let's go to... Under Parish. I've got my reasons. Super Buddha. Super Dragon God Buddha! He's just got the most fucking evil face. I wish they had more on the Everlasting Dragons. I'd love to play a game that's like pre-Dark Souls somehow. Let me just be a dragon. Do do Everlasting Dragon Simulator. Let me play that. Oh, let me see if I've got any embers for this guy. Really be careful. Well, I never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that at my foot? Yeah, you may have the dark ember. Fuck it. Go nuts. There are two types of weird I know all of these things, yes, yes, yes. Look at all the things I can make. I could even make a divine club five or a magic falchion. Why wouldn't I do that? Let's do that for fun. Oh no, it's already ascended, I see. Magic and then enchanted apparently. I got it wrong, I fucked up. It's fine. I'll be seeing you, mate. See you, mate. Yeah, Miyazaki he said that he... Well, he said two things. He, he has said he's done with the Dark Souls universe. He's always He, he also said he'd be interested to uh, do something else with it. He just doesn't know what he would do. Anyway, who cares? Elden Ring. Fucking new IP from from software being directed by Hidetaka Miyazaki and collaborated with George R. R. Martin. I mean, how cool is that shit? I've gone the wrong way. I know how and why I've gone the wrong way. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, Elden Ring. It's a new IP from From Software. It's a dark... It's a dark fantasy action RPG, they've described it. And that's exactly what they described Dark Souls as. So, different universe, but hopefully a Souls game. Yeah, the theme of mortality, immortality, it's a good one. Until he makes a bad game, I'm not going to question his methods. I'm just going to hope that Elden Ring comes out in about a year. Which, judging from the fact that they showed a trailer and it's coming out next year, it should be about a year. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed. Hopefully we'll get Dark Souls 2 for uh, Switch in the meantime as well. I need, I need some more Dark Souls on my Switch. It didn't show much, but I've got high hopes. I don't think it's going to be a bad one. They haven't made a bad Soulsborn or Sekiro-born Souls game yet. However you want to say that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, games I was excited for about E3. So Elden Ring, probably my top one. And then we've got um, The Outer Worlds. Um, new FPS adventure game from um, Obsidian makers of Fallout New Vegas uh, that looked really good uh, Gears 5 actually had a terrible presentation but I'm still hopeful that it's going to be a good game because Gears of War games there's only one bad Gears of War game where it's Judgment all the others are, have been awesome uh, they showed nearly nothing in Halo, but you know Halo's going to be good. They can't fuck it up like they did with uh, 5. Uh, I don't really have an opinion on Final Fantasy VII Remake, to be honest with you. I don't like the idea that it's on two discs. 
If it's in one, if it's in one case, but two discs, unhappy. If they're still planning to release it episodically, it can go fuck itself. There's this guy. I'm not buying a fucking game episodically. Fuck that. Also, I never played Final Fantasy VII or the original. Even as a kid, I thought it looked like a blocky piece of shit, and I couldn't, I couldn't sway myself from it. There you are. So, it is thou who rescueth me. Sure. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. Hi, Dusk. I come up from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee. Which nope, I disapprove. Okay. May the great flames guide thee. Okay. Oh shit! Oh thank god I missed it. I did not mean to swipe. I did not mean to attack. That could have been costly. Uh, I'm trying to access the DLC. I'm pretty sure I have to kill that gold golem that she was hiding behind. And now I have to get an amulet. Montcass. Hi, dragon. Don't mind me, just passing by. I think I've got a better one. Mm. Nah, I prefer my way together. Great combustion creates a power we'll never know. Oh well. Ah, good on Terraria. I like it when uh, developers... support their games long after release. Um, so yeah, those are the games I was excited for from uh, Microsoft and Ubisoft for Nintendo. Wow, okay. So they gave us uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, more gameplay. It looks fucking amazing. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 looks like fucking good fun. Um, right at the end, they showed the, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel is happening, which is like, fuck! One of the best games ever made is now getting a sequel. Fuck yes. Rest of the fucking thing. Uh, they showed a couple of new characters coming to Super Smash Brothers, including Banjo-Kazooie, so that's pretty cool. Even though I love a standalone game of theirs, even though I think Microsoft owned the rights to that. It's... Uh, they pretty much share it at this point. Um, yeah, they, they, uh, the mana collection, the collection of mana, looks fucking awesome. Astral Chain looks really fun as well. Uh, the Witcher 3 is coming to Switch. Like, that's just the coolest news. Like, for anyone that owns a Switch that might not have played The Witcher 3, or if you just wanted to play Witcher 3 portably. It's fucking amazing is that. I've got it on PC, but holy shit, I might get it just so I can play it portably. What an amazing idea. Well, they already showed gameplay on it in Switch, and it seemed to be running pretty good. I imagine it will obviously have uh, low-end graphics, but they'll get it to run. Switch isn't massively underpowered compared to other consoles. It's more the fact that the developers don't want to... A lot of developers, I should say, don't want to put the time into... Um, Develop for it. Broken pendant. Yes. 
Now let's go back to where I was. Apart from anything else, this might be a really good turning point to show all developers that if you've got a game like Witcher fucking 3 running on a Switch, and Doom Eternal, and Wolfenstein Youngblood, I might add, and I've got Doom on Switch, and it runs fucking great. Um, it really is a testament to what you can do with what hardware it has. So I am all for that shit. Back to the Undead Parish one more time. So yeah, I um, I think Nintendo had a fucking fantastic E3, really. Did it show Metroid Prime Trilogy that I was hoping for? No. Did it show an, a new F-Zero game? No. Did it somehow decide to remake Donkey Kong 64? No. These aren't important. They showed enough. And some really good things as well. Lots to be excited for. I honestly probably use my Switch more than any other console. Um, probably my Xbox after that. Not a massive fan of Sony's exclusives. Got my PlayStation 4 Gathering Dust. I basically bought that for Bloodborne. I'm not a whole. F I'm not a fan of the uh, narrative-driven games. I'm all about the gameplay style of games, and Nintendo excel at that. As do from software, which is why I love Dark Souls so goddamn much, and the Castlevania series, and the Legend of Zelda series. Even though The Legend of Zelda has a narrative, its gameplay is still fucking brilliant. I'm into Mario. I fucking love Super Mario Brothers. In all iterations, I've played all the originals. One, two, three, Lost Levels. 64, Sunshine, Galaxy 1 and 2, Odyssey. Super Mario World. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I fucking love Mario. Super Mario Maker 2 is coming. I've already pre-ordered it. I have that on pre-order. And of course, Pokemon Sword and Shield. They look fucking great. Yeah, I'm so happy to see Nintendo having so much success with Switch. What's funny is when they first announced it, their stocks, their stocks plummeted. People hated it at first, when it was very first revealed, like that first week. Everyone was like, oh my god, it sucks, it's horrible, I hate it so much. And it's, it's done the opposite of the Wii U. They put a shitload of marketing into it and got a shitload of um, third-party developers making cool games for it. And it's flourishing. Tentacly death hand? Well, fuck! We are now in the DLC. This is the DLC expansion for Dark Souls. So essentially what we've just done is been sucked through a time hole and now we're in the past. We are in the past. For reasons... We may or may not find out ever. Let's traverse the white light. Oh fuck, I totally, I 100% forgot this was even a thing. I hate this fucking guy. But take bleed damage, sanctuary bitch. Rush him. Just need one good shot on your head. What the fuck? Whoa! Well, have a look at that. Jesus Christ. Yes! Death blow! 
Guardian Soul victory achieved. I don't know why that was always one of my absolute. That was always one of my absolute hardest fights. Uh, no, this is just new game. This is just NG. I haven't even farmed for souls or anything. I've just put a shitload of points into my decks and fully upgraded the Uchigatana Samurai Sword. And it cuts through shit like butter. Let's level up. I'm just going to keep putting it into decks for no reason. Oh. So yeah. I think we'll call it there. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Before I call it a night. Ah, oh, thank God. If you go, I think if you go further and then come back to this area, there are two sanctuary guardians. Two manticores. Right for the taking. Yeah, sorry, Evil Nine. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call that one. Before I've rested in this bad fire. I, um. Fret not, fret not. Evil Nine, all you need to do is come back this Thursday. If you come back this Thursday, about 6 30 pm UK time, you can watch me carry on my wonderful Dark Souls journey as we smash the DLC. That's right, the DLC is happening. I don't want it to. It's fucking difficult. But yeah, we're, uh, we're now in deep, deep shit. Saying that, the Sanctuary Guardian was somehow easy. That was good. Thank fuck for that. Um, I think there are three main bosses in this DLC. It's a fucking hard area. It's essentially endgame. Um... But yeah, we're going to power through it, and we're going to start it properly. That was the very start of uh, DLC, the Sanctuary Guardian, the Manticore boss. And we'll, we'll carry on this Thursday, this coming Thursday, 6.30pm UK time. So please do all come back. Thank you all so much for being here. I uh, hope you've had fun. Um, let me know your thoughts in comments or whatnot. And I um, hope to see you all back here this Thursday. So uh, take care, have a great rest of the night, have a good Wednesday. We'll get past that halfway mark for the day, for the week. It's one of them. And see you Thursday. Take care, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one.